so guys this is my setup as you can see this is the sp8266 the bare bones one some pull up and pull down resistors some capacitors for for stability and all that good stuff this is the fddi chip it's as you can see put on 3.3 volts i don't know if you can see it but let me focus this it's set on 3.3 volts the jumper so make sure you put it on 3.3 don't fry your psp and here is the dh dh11 sensor as you can see it's connected to pin 13 so here i have the pin out as you can see pin 16 is connected to reset for uh, waking up from deep sleep pin 1 and 3 are connected to, to tx and rx of the programmer uh, pin 0 is connected to this button i salvaged this button from it's a micro switch actually i salvaged it from uh, a dead mouse uh, also i salvaged another one for the reset button so here we have uh, uh, pin 0 is uh, pulled up to boot but pulled down to flash or to program uh, to program something is to flash something the reset is pulled up as you can see that arrow up enable is pulled up pin 2 it's connected to the uh, to the boot uh, to to the i don't know what uh, what do they call it i think it's called the uh, the debug boot or or anything or something like that I don't know, and pin 15 is pulled down. To program it, I, I remind myself of these notes. I have to push on the reset button first, then push on the flash button, then release. As you can see, the LED here will blink, indicating that it's in flash mode. And now, I'll flash it with my code. As you can see, it's flashing. Here we have it. This program is finished, it's done uploading. So let's open up our serial terminal. And you have to, to push the reset button in order to, for it to start. So as we push it, we have our weight counter and hour of the day. I, uh, for the sake of, of just testing, I uh, modified my code to have 15 seconds in a day and uh, oh, 30 seconds in a day and 15 seconds in an hour. So our report should have should have two hours only. And now we should connect to the Wi-Fi. As you can see, we're connecting to the Wi-Fi, and we should see the data coming in. And here it is. It's on adafruit.io on the temperature logger feed. And if I enter the data, I can find it's one hour, but I don't know why. So. I have my we're theoretically speaking just for the, for the sake of this example we're in the second day you know here we are connecting to Wi-Fi and the other data and here it is our first hour the maximum temperature the minimum temperature and the mean temperature it's only two readings so there, there can't be a lot by the way it's, this is in celsius so it's quite hot in here 
so there you have it it's my temperature logging note